Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNuck1 slash Egovidiotic, and welcome back to part 4 of my Let's Play Civilization Beyond Earth series. Last time we had several things developing. Right now we've got the soldier out here, and the colonist, with the intention of placing another city somewhere up here. And that'll be our last city for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cities is a good foundation, and then we might maybe push out here, we'll probably declare war on uh, Brasilia and Citadella. What am I saying? Brasilia and the Slavic Feds eventually. Um, the other thing we've got going on right here is we have a worker that we want to get over this petroleum. And as soon as we have our soldier done in two turns, we'll do just that. We want to be improving this fruits, this fruit, sorry, to get Ninit Tin growing again. And we got a little bit of an alien problem here. I don't think it's gonna last too, too long. Um, and we also wanted to get our explorer back so we can actually improve that fruit by having our explorer sit on the tile. Alright, so right now we're just going to be chilling with that colonist until our soldier is fully healed. This worker can also pretty much just chill because I don't want to put him in range of the drone. Drones are scary. You know, another reason we need soldiers is so we can clear this out and really get to improving the resources we need. So. What's problematic about going up north is that there's siege worms up there, it seems. One more turn, we'll have our guy fully healed. I have no clue where these aliens keep coming from. They just keep spawning. That's what it looks like, at least. Two more turns, this guy will be done. And we can send him to go help improve the fruit. Wow, that's a one-shot kill. It's pretty impressive. Alright, one more turn, and we got our soldier coming out of Tiangong. Hopefully the siege room doesn't move in. All right, he moved away. And we can fire on this Manticore. Not doing quite that much damage, but that's all right. Finish the mine. Have him set up on the fruit. Now we can get our soldier out. Send the worker with him. And okay, we're actually good to start moving the soldier as well. So let's get our colonist out there. Now, our goal here is not to get killed by siege worms on our way to deploy. And we can actually pick up adaptive sciences now. We already got our 5k, and we're about to finish our 4m part. And then that is really the foundation of how I do my virtues. So right now, if we go ahead and decide to pick up another might, we can get a good military bonus. And the two best things for might right now are probably Army Engineering Corps, which can be very good depending on what you have around you and Martial Meditations, um, which I like to pick up a little bit later because of the free affinity level being so good. Um, what is What I typically tend to do is I pick up Network Data Links and Meme Web as soon as I can because it really gets my empire rolling even when I have so many cities. Um, community Medicine can come a little bit later because it's not going to give that much health early in the game. So what I really like to do is I want to get Meta Research Methods and Techno Artisans as soon as I can. Community Medicine will be one way we're going to deal with health. Another way is going to be Information Warfare. And I'll talk about Covert Agent Health a little later in this playthrough. Uh, it's really critical in the way that I build my virtues into staying healthy uh, late in the game because I don't go prosperity, um, which is really the big health thing, health virtue tree in the game. Consider a simple problem, such as navigation in a spaceship approaching light speed. Right, so there we go. We picked up physics now. And we have our worker here done, and we got another worker over here done. So we're going to send this one back home. The Manticore here won't actually be able to kill us because, again, they're slow. And this one can probably probably get working on another farm. Um, is there anything optimal? No, I suppose he can just clear this Miasma. That'll do us a solid. All right, so let's slowly move up north. All right, see, that's a little dangerous. Um, I don't think we're in range of a nest, though, so we, I think we can move another tile. Worst case scenario is they see the colonist and they go batshit crazy and start attacking us. Uh, hopefully not. If that happens, this soldier is at least seasoned, so we'll be able to hit, bring them back, I think. At least with some success. So let's move this worker into place. Siege room's getting a little uncomfortably close. Uh, but at least we're secure now, and we can't just get one shot by the drone. Alright, so as far as tech goes, we just picked up physics... And we want to get bionics as soon as possible because it's highly, highly critical to both staying healthy for us. Well, not so much the health, but it's really about getting the food. 
Um, energy is not going to be the hugest issue for Supremacy Empires because of the free mag rails they get at Affinity Level 3. But food is going to be one of the biggest issues, especially because of our start. So I'm just going to start teching Bionics. I really, really want to get the bio wells very soon. They're critical. It's the highest food output we can really get with Supremacy. So hopefully our soldiers don't get attacked. Alright, neither got attacked. That's good. We can keep bombarding this Manticore. We got him. And let's begin on the fruit. Get that fruit going. We can get Ninit Tin rolling. Alright, we picked up another worker. I did have a build going on here. We have the auto plant coming out in nine turns, which I believe is actually going to finish Solid State Citizen. Occupational Hazard. Alright, one Alien Preserve. It's not bad. And Solid State Citizen, which is one auto plant. So, again, we could, we could go alien life forms eventually. But right now, I'm really, I want to focus on food. I want to get this empire growing. And that's incredibly important because actually, counterintuitively, a large population is the key to health. And the reason is because, where is it? Virtues. This guy right here. Um, so, like I said, well, I guess I, well, I'm going to give it formally now is that the way you deal with city health in this game, or city unhealth, is just by countering it with buildings or bio wells. But there's a certain amount of uh, health which is, it's global health, which is like, uh, and global unhealth, which are really affected by, do you have petroleum wells built? Do you have uh, manufactories built? And how many cities do you have? I think you get four unhealth from each city, one from petroleum and two from manufacturers. And you can't deal with that by building bio wells and you can't deal with it by building health buildings. But what you can deal with it with is um, actually spies, believe it or not, and uh, and something and all your virtue health things. So in knowledge, we're only going to have community medicine to help us out. This one's going to be important too because that's going to give us another covert agent to uh, get our health up. And we'll get there when we get there, but it'll be critical late game, but not early game. That's really the one downside, I suppose. The strategy is you kind of have to just deal with your global unhealth until late game, where you can like more easily deal with it. All right, so thankfully, the siege room didn't move in too close, and we can start building a petroleum well. Petroleum is going to be a big resource for us, um, so we might as well work on it a bit early. So again, I, I'm a little fearful of moving onto this desert tile because the siege room could be right there. So let's just move our soldier one and... It's always going to be a hill there. I mean, I suppose we can move our soldier out. Oh, no, but then we can get hit. Um, I'll just sit tight here. See what happens. If the siege room comes over the hill, we'll just pull back. Alright, so we have another worker. Um, did I really need this? I suppose we can get him up north. Um, to getting onto Ganzerig or help build a road that in that direction. That could be fairly critical. Alright, so the siege room is coming back around. These aliens just won't stop near Ninet 10. Even though we keep bombing them. No sight of that siege room, but again, it could be there or there. So you know what? Just for safety's sake, let's get on this hill, because it actually... We know it's probably not there, so... It could be there or there. Let's just go there. Alright, so... We would have been surrounded by aliens there, but still no siege room. Let's just go there. We had to make a bit of a, a risk there, but that's okay. Uh, let's just get up another farm. And this guy can start building faux roads up to Ganzerig. It really shouldn't be too much of an issue for us. Because again, we are the PAC and we've chosen uh, the right quests for increased speed. Oh wow, there are a lot of aliens up there. There has to be a nest. Now the question is, where do we want to settle this? Um... I wouldn't be too opposed to going on the geothermal itself, because geothermal... I tend to go a while without actually using it. We want to be in range of that Firaxite, though. That's certainly true. So... I don't want to land on the petroleum, though, because petroleum is such a cool resource. I think we do have so much production around. Um... Hmm... This is all actually forest grasslands. This is good food area. I suppose we could settle back on this hill. And just move back there. It's not the worst choice, really. Yeah, that looks like the safest choice for me. As long as we don't get absolutely decked by these aliens, we should be good. So, let's start building our faux road. Alrighty. 
Next turn. Actually forgot to put a timer up again, so I'm gonna do that. Alright. These aliens just don't know when to quit. Why would they? I'm gonna have to deal with these aliens eventually. I'd love to get rangers up as soon as the auto plant finishes. I suppose we could start building trade routes. We are going to have these trade depots done very soon. We do only have zero trade Oh, this one just finished. Okay. Wow, that's such a good yield. Six production, five science. We finished our fruit, so now Ninip Tin does have a solid food source. And we could go improve the fiber. Uh, that would only make it a one food, two production tile, which is not the best. Um, I'd much rather just get our second farm up that we can. Yeah, Nanotin is going to have food problems until we have bio wells, and then it's really not going to have much of a food problem, because these tundra tiles will be three food each. And let's settle our city. Well, that is our last city for a while, hopefully. And hopefully the aliens don't try to do anything. A little too sneaky. Let me make sure this timer is on. I've been at least going for like four, five, six, seven minutes. So let's do a 15, eight, no. 16 minute timer, okay. Alrighty, so let's heal up this soldier. We got a trade depot coming in Kuyin in a few turns. Ganzerig is getting close to completion. It's only got two more tiles to acquire. Juanle has uh, three more tiles to acquire and uh, we're getting our auto plant soon. Health is going to be shortly an issue, so our solution in the short term is actually going to be getting a lot of health in Tiangong, and then health in Kuyin, and health in Init 10. Um, we do have a while before health... Before any of these cities, Ganzerig... What is this named? can't tell. Gongren. Gongren or Huanle are going to be around population 3, 4, 5, which is really where health buildings start to kick in and be important at stabilizing your health. Um, we finished our farm here. I suppose we could go improve the Firaxite. The one downside to improving Firaxite early is that there, it does actually have um, a maintenance cost of two energy. So let's instead improve this ale into a mine and we'll cut down the forest in the process. Alright, these aliens just will not learn. What am I going to have to do about them? Probably exterminate them. Alright, so in the short term... This petroleum well is not going to help too much out, but in the long term, after we pick up petrochemical plants, it's going to be such a good tile. Especially with the mite thing that improves the yields of strategic resources. So that's actually going to help us a lot, because we do have a lot of petroleum tiles. I think, hopefully there's only three aliens left in this area. We will send our soldiers up to clear them out when, we, when we're done with the petroleum. Um... Yeah, so this looks pretty good. Just keep constructing a mine. I'm just gonna heal up to full, and then maybe I'll start hitting some of these aliens, getting some more experience for the soldier, getting him into a veteran. Um, that's the highest that alien killing will get him. So we did finish our trade depot here. So really, the options now are a vivarium for tons of food growth, or you can go clinic. That's a really good way to get your health up. Um, we won't actually be capping it because we already have three food. Uh, a lab is one of the greatest ways to get science. Or a recycler, which will speed the whole process up. I'm going to go with the recycler. Um, I think it's a very safe second building. Gets the production just a little bit higher. Helps you build the rest of the buildings you want to. Just that bit. Uh, just that much quicker. It'll eventually pay itself off. Alright. Let's start ramming this soldier into some of these guys. Alrighty, seven more experience for us. Should only have to do that two or three more times, and we'll be veteran status. So we finished our petroleum well. That's a lot of petroleum, actually. It's seven petroleum. Um, now, what we could do with our soldiers, start crashing him on, on these drones, trying to set up, establish a camp here. Thing is, you can't stack soldiers with, uh, what do you call them, explorers. So this crash satellite still might be a, a ways off. Oh, another place we wanted to put a city was perhaps over here. Time for exit's very, very good. Um, we could do that a little later. Right now, we don't even have the ability to sail across oceans. So we need planetary survey for that. So let's pull our soldier out for now. 
And we finished our farm. I guess we can start building... Whoa. Did we lose a worker? No, I think we said we wanted to build four rows and then we ended up working on farms. Sounds about right. Yeah, I messed that up, didn't I? We build roads in two turns. Can you blame me? Let's try to be more focused. Alright. Alright, one more, and then he'll be a veteran. Getting that extra veterancy will help us. I don't know where these aliens are coming from. I feel like... Whoa. Oh, I, I suppose we had a quest. Um, it required us to kill a bunch of aliens. Oh, we did. Fresh specimens. Alright. Well, that's interesting. That got us 200 science. Um, which is impressive. That got us to bio That's going to get us to bionics a lot quicker. Which is quite a good thing. Alright, so I'm going to bring my soldier out there to help exterminate some of these aliens. And then we'll see what we can do. I really want to get bionics done soon so I can start building bio wells in places. Especially around Tiangong. I'm just going to have a bit of a food uh, a pop an unhealth issue for a while. Because I don't have quite that many buildings available to me for health. Alrighty. Um, these are totally reserved for bio wells. So let's, at the moment, just improve these fiber. Because that's really all you can do on that tile anyways. And bring the explorer back out here. Keep bombing these aliens. Get our soldier out yonder. What can we do with this? I guess we could build a bio well here, maybe a bio well there. We'll wait a short while. Uh, we could remove the miasma there, though, as we're waiting. I don't think the raptor bugs can move over hills too efficiently to get us like that. Let's heal this soldier up before we turn him into a veteran. There's a lot of aliens up there. What's ours is yours. But we're not For actually going to do that, although we could find someone we want to sell the petroleum to. Uh, probably not the closest neighbor. Probably like whoever's at the absolute bottom. We fled Earth because it was getting worse faster than we could fix it. <laughs> what becomes of our humanity when we replace our bodies with plastic and steel? It grows even stronger. As the augmentation movement grows, new, years, new uses for biorobotics are quickly discovered. New neural interfaces let individuals control fleets of machines, triggering an industrial boom not seen since our time on Earth. Let the spirit of augmentation live on in this world. Plus 12 affinity points and supremacy. That's actually a lot for a quest like this. 50 food in Tiangong. 50 production Tiangong. That's pretty awesome. We fled Earth because it... And we hit affinity 1, so now we're actually going to be able to upgrade our soldiers into marines. We can choose between 5 health per heal or 15% in attacking. I like this. Um, I like the extra strength that we get out of it. Um, healing is interesting, but it does require you to sit down for two turns. And now these marines are going to really be quite powerful. Very potent things. So now we're going to be able to wipe out these aliens, probably. Oh wow, the raptor bugs, they know what they're hungry for. They like to hit uh, workers, trade routes. Basically, they just like to piss you off. Alright, so, we can do attack jets. That's not a bad option. Um... Attack shots will last longer, they'll probably sit around forever in the game, and they'll just like become experts very quickly and be useful, and they're really not likely to die. So let's go with build some attack jets. We can really start bombing these aliens and reducing the populations. That sounds like a safe idea. Okay, or we could go with science building. We haven't built the network yet, that's uh, three science. Let's actually do that first. Oh yeah, and the production's gonna help us build the network a lot quicker, thanks to the end of Solid State Citizen. And I failed to full road again. Oh well. Um, this road's going to be finished about on time with Ganserig, if not before Ganserig is done. So we might as well just build the road at this point. Let's just keep on rolling. Goal here is really to build up a nice military, wipe out some aliens, pick up that crash satellite, improve our food with bionics, I'm trying to do a bunch of things at once. Let's wipe out the manticores with minimal damage. They do not have much uh, military strength, or at least melee. Pick up some science from killing the aliens, it's all good. Alright, so this is really what makes Auto Plants a three production building. It's, in it's incredible, I love it. So we're gonna go with that. Alrighty. 
So again, same thing here. We finished the trade depot. We can go build a recycler now. Oh, yeah, that's right. The other option we have in our capital, I suppose we can do it as soon as the network's done, um, is to start building trade routes. Just get Ninet, Tin, Kuyin, and the other cities growing. Now, I don't want the other cities to pop too early, but um, I don't have anything against them growing at a solid rate. We could have this worker come and help finish this road on time, start building a road to Gongren. All this stuff is important, and we'll have to get to it eventually. And honestly, a supremacy, these roads will be eventually free, and we really won't have that much issue. Yep, we're getting bombed now. Aliens have turned their aggression up. It is okay, we have marines rather than soldiers, so they're very likely to survive. So we're going to pull them back a little bit. Make them give chase. We won't get hit by the Manticore. Uh, I don't think we'll die from an attack from both of these squads. And we'll be in at 10 next turn to heal up. Two more turns until that network finishes. And this guy finished his road. Let's get him, you know, out of the miasma. Let's go, we could do that. Yeah, that sounds good. Boom, boom, boom. And this worker down here will come and support and finish the miasma roads. This fiber is almost done. This guy's ready to get his veterancy. So let's just crash into this unit. So he'll have his veterancy next turn. Which is good. Alright, so Gansrig finished. Um, so, again, I really like the trade routes first. I think they're a very solid build. Um, yeah, not much more to say about that. Gonna see some combat this turn. Will this marine survive? I, I think he will. He'll walk away with some veterancy. They didn't even attack him. Look at that. Alright, so now we got a veteran marine up north. And this one, let's just heal him up and we can send him back. Alrighty, start building this road. And we could heal him up, or we could just crash and kill this unit. That's a good idea. I want to get him south so we can start dealing with the aliens down there. Next turn. Alright, so we finished cutting down the forest in Kuya. We can start building the mine there. Which is quite good. And I suppose we should start building this petroleum. Because eventually this tile will be very good and we'd like to have it up sooner rather than later. Let's heal up our marine. Start building another road. And let's heal this guy up and we'll get him south. Alright, so we finished our recycler here, so now the options are really between health buildings, science buildings, we can get an auto plant if we really want to focus that much, a vivarium to help the food growth. I'm going to go with clinics because I think what's really impeding food growth at, um, this early in the game is the health, and we want to keep the health down, especially as uh, Gong Ren finishes and Juan Lai finishes. It's not going to be pretty on the health side. So let's really focus that. Have I gotten all my health buildings in the capital? Do I not have? I don't have genetics. We're going to have to pick that up right after bionics. That's going to be a huge priority. Because health is going to be an issue for us. No village. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to sell the petroleum. Alright, so we'll do that next turn. Okay, so let's do that now. So I don't forget. So I'm going to go to the find the weakest player. So, Reginaldo. Reggie is not doing too hot. Bienvenido. He does still have some good energy per turn. And let's see what we can sell our petroleum for. Venga. Right. One favor is worth about two or three energy per turn. So it looks like we can go one energy per turn for each petroleum. Hopefully that works. Yeah, it works. Right. And he does still have four energy per turn left. We got two petroleum. We're not going to need this for a while. So let's just do another two. We sold all of our stuff to weakest player. And now we're... Making a good positive quantity of energy per turn. We definitely want to stay positive um, until we get our free roads and magrails up. I'm not the kind of player to really rush magrails. I feel that kind of strategy leaves you in the dust on food and science and culture. And you just have a lot of production but lots of unhealth and no real way to deal with it. Because again, one of the easiest ways to deal with unhealth using my strategy is to grow as fast as you can. Counterintuitive but true. Finally finished, and now we're pretty much at the most unhealth we'll probably have this entire game. Um, no, when Gong Ren finishes, I suppose. 
what are we getting punished for here? Um, just a tiny bit of negative production, some negative science, negative culture, negative growth in the outposts, and the food. This is not particularly good. Honestly, it it's a little more deceptive than it looks. The negative 11 science in cities is actually more like negative 21%, because normally if we're healthy, we actually get a plus 10%. So let's injure this guy and go in and see if we can wipe him out this turn. Oh yeah, we can wipe him out this turn. This guy will hopefully be a veteran soon. And these aliens are just not letting me pass. So we did finish our thing and we're building a tack jet right now. Um, that's not really what I want to do. Uh, I do want to build trade convoys. Those don't have any extra maintenance. They're going to help some of these cities grow. It's pretty critical. So let's do that as soon as we can. Okay. So Juan Lei grew. So now we have the option between a trade convoy um, and a vivarium. Food's not going to be an issue for Juan Lei again. They have the desert floodplains. Um, so let's go with the trade depot. Alrighty. Looks like we're actually about to finish the road. The road to Gonzerig is complete. Uh, we could begin building a road to Gongren. I'd actually like to start building a little bit of infrastructure for Ganzerig. So let's build some farms on these desert floodplains and maybe a hill and then we can move on. We have two workers so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh that's nice, silica! Silica is a decent resource. Um, I love silica on, on grassland or plains. Grassland silica is honestly one of the best tiles in the game because it doesn't cost anything, it has a huge output and we have another trade to Jinsoku Labs. We're just trading very often with them at this point. Oh wow. You know, nothing about the alien raptor I could probably swoop in, swoop in and try to kill our trade convoy. Although I honestly don't see that happening. Let's see. Aliens can surprise you now and then. Nope, they just moved way out, out here. I could probably just move and put a zone of control on this guy. Yeah, let's put his own control on him right there. It's going to really stop him from doing very much. Let's finish this petroleum well. Hopefully we can get this guy down south now. Okay, we can wipe this guy out. We can damage the mana core. We're really cleaning up aliens at this point. And killing the aliens is really going to help us get bionics just that much faster. Another eight science. It's good. Good progress. Alright, looks like time is up on this episode. So thank you guys for watching part 4 of my Civilization Beyond Earth series. I'll see you guys next time. And until then, uh, I don't know. I don't really have an outro like that. Well, take care guys.